this lesson, we're going to cover how to query the top 10 or bottom 10 values in a data set. So you can see here in this example, we have a data set of branches. We have the branch number, the city, the state, and the year to date sales. And in the first example, we just want to pull back the top 10 branches with year to date sales values. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a new sheet where our query will live. I'll just call this query results. I'm going to insert our query function at the top. First input is our data. That is the detail back on the first tab. So we'll go back there. I'm going to click in this top left cell, hit control shift right arrow and then control shift down arrow. That will select the entire data set. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. Our next input is our query statement. So that must be enclosed in double quotes if you're hard keying it in like we are now. So I'm going to begin with the keyword select and we want to pull back all the fields from this data set. So I'm going to choose select star that will pull back everything. Since we're pulling back the top 10 sales figures in column D, we want to insert an order by clause and reference column D and we want the order to be descending because we want it to be sorted from highest to lowest. And in order to get the top 10, we need to insert the keyword limit 10. And the final input is the number of row headers we have. We just have one row of headers. So you can see this pulls back the top 10 sales figures out of our data set going from first to 10th. And if we go back, you can, I've already got a filter set up here and it orders the values from smallest to lowest. So if we scroll all the way down, you can see that top value is 11,318,000. And that is the number one value in our query results. So now if we wanted to find the bottom 10 maybe we just want to look at which branches are having the most issues with sales volume so we'll hit f2 to go back into our query statement the only thing we really need to do is remove this descending um, statement in our order by clause because by default the order by sorts from smallest to highest. So this will pull back the 10 smallest items in our data set because we have order by ascending and a limit clause of 10. So when I hit that, we get the 10 smallest values starting at the very smallest. And if we go back to our filter, you can see the first item in our filter is that smallest value. So now if we wanted to display the top 10 and the bottom 10 side by side, what we could do is copy these queries, this query statement we just created. And what we're going to do is enclose our statement in curly brackets and put a comma after our first query showing the bottom 10 and then we're going to change this order by in our second query back to descending and add a curly bracket at the end. So the curly bracket is essentially creating an array function. So what it will do is display two queries because we have our first one here for the bottom 10, our second one for the top 10, and we're separating them by a comma, which means display the two queries or array outputs horizontally side by side. 
So now when we hit enter, you can see we have our top 10 over here. We have our bottom 10 over here. It might be useful at this point to separate them with, you know, bars so you can see what's what and add headers, but you can display queries, two different queries side by side when you enclose them in curly brackets and add a comma between the two queries. Now, if you wanted to display them one on top of the other, you would change that comma to a semicolon and that would display them one on top of the other. So that is how you can create a query to pull back the top 10 or bottom 10 values in a data set. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.